my screen is getting darker and darker for the oh, okay <laughs> This seems like useless. Let's just go back. Maybe I missed something. Because I don't want to relook through all these rooms that I already looked in. What? What? Oh. Oh. A, we have the the stuff. The the stuff the girl was in. Bro, I was trying to pick that up and it wouldn't let me. I know that you can't help it, but I just don't like it when games don't let you pick up an item if you haven't done a certain thing yet. Yeah. It, yes. Take them. Then obediently pulled them taut in a few places to test their tensile, the tensile strength. Alright. Good. And so we folded both strips of gauze in half, then twisted the two double ply strips together to form something that resembled a braid. I'd done something similar to this once before when making rope like decorations for theater costumes, so it didn't prove to be particularly difficult. It almost felt like rope making 101. In 10 minutes time, presto, we had the do-it-yourself rope in our hands. Granted, it was pretty flimsy compared to the resin ropes you might buy at a home center, but it seemed like it would only hold one person's weight just fine. Oh, damn. So, it, we're the only one who can do that then, right? Because, where was it? Because if you think about it, he can't go down because he's heavier than we are. And Nana can't go down because she has bruises in between her thighs. So it would just hurt her even more. Okay. Okay. We need someone strong to hold it. ロープを掴んでることならできそうだけど。ま、俺が行くのが早いか。でも私たち二人で大丈夫かな。男の人の力で。いや。女子が降りた方がよく。私はこういうの自信ないよ。スポーツとかじゃないし。俺はね。登
Good thing we don't have a flashlight, right? Don't look, don't look. Oh, it was too dark to see my surroundings clearly, but I could instantly sense an oppressive atmosphere all around me. This was not a good place to be. Oh, great. Oh, brother, this guy stinks. Dude, I could touch all of these. There are a large number of dead bodies scattered throughout the room. Most seem to have died long ago, having decayed into proper skeletons, but a small handful seem fresh, as if they are alive only yesterday. It's a girl's body. This is one of the ones that seem like more recent death, so recent in fact that there's still a hint of body heat to her. All of her fingers have been cut off and her tongue seems to have been removed as well. Her... Oh god, no. Her student ID name tag is clearly displayed on her jacket. He cut, that's one of her friends. That's one of her friends. Oh no. Uh, I'm not saying anything. There's something on the ground next to Hikari's body reflecting what little light there is down here. Alright. Okay. Having acquired the item we sought and not wanting to stay down this hole even a moment longer than I had to, I gave the rope a triumphant tug. Okay. Yeah. Just get out of there. Oh. <sighs> okay, we're out. We're good. Hopefully, this girl won't think of it. Like, I hope she doesn't, rem like, remember that that's what her friend had on her. Holy water. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. Yeah, that was the only thing down there. Mm. Of course. Uh, of course. I don't trust her, but if she got it from her, it must have been real. Oh. Oh. Yeah, it's a giant hole. Yeah. Totally didn't see her down there at all. Imagine she's like, so... We like Hikari's nails, right? <laughs> Won't be possible to get across. Okay. Where are we? We... Where have I not been? The second... We can't go to the second way because of that. Um... Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know where else to go, to be honest. Oh. We didn't check the boys' bathroom, so if anything, we'll just go to the boys' bathroom and check it out. Oh, okay. 
あの子の価値。Bro。さっき拾った清水は霊能者のお墨付きなんでしょ? Yeah. Toss it, girl, toss it. You know, move out of the way. You're the one who wants to freaking possess us. With this, one of the red spirit flames flew directly at me in what was clearly meant as a hostile action. Oh. Did I get them killed? Kishinuma quickly leaped in front of me, hands out, taking the full brunt of the spirit's attack in my place. Then all three flames simply disappeared. Oh, please don't. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. Oh, okay. She dropped it, didn't she? She dropped it. She doesn't have her bag anymore, does she? Are you serious? Oh. That's right. No. You need your ID. You don't know that. Uh -huh. The doodle. The memo page Kishinuma opened to was ringed with bloody sticky fingerprints, and centered among them was a rough sketch of a box drawn in a ballpoint pen along with numerous lines of text written in rough, shaky letters. They seemed to have been written with an excessive amount of force, resulting in countless black splotches and small tears in the paper. I think Ayaka is going to kill Ao. I need to hide her. Ao, Ao is mine and mine alone. She must be protected. If I hide it in that box, no one will ever find it. Ao, I love you so much. These words were written over and over and over again, with the ink getting blotchier and more haphazard each time. Hey, I freaking knew it. I knew it. The freaking the lock is the same color as the key. Kishinuma and Nana were both watching me expectantly as I produced the rusty key from the bag. I inserted it into the lock, it fit. Crossing my fingers, I began turning and met with no resistance at all. It was the right key. The lid popped open and a nostalgic music started to play. Bro, that's messed up that they have the theme song as that. Yeah, no singing. Kishinoma took the music box from my hands with a sort of deserve. De de yep, he has, he's got a smile. So. What? It's another, it's another key. Well, they didn't want someone going into their room. Yeah. Placed the key in my pocket for safekeeping. And tried to, in vain to remind myself that I shouldn't get my hopes up. But in truth, I was downright thrilled. We were making actual progress. Alright. Um. Oh, we can go up the stairs now. Oh, damn. How- Damn. Okay. We couldn't get in here previously. Try it. 
The key turned easily in the lock and the door came right open. My screen is getting darker and darker for the- Oh, okay. There was a dead body propped against the inside of it. As the door slid open, it spilled out into the hallway. How does she get here? Kishinuma completely ignored this, however, stepping over it and it darted into the room as fast as his legs would carry him. Shizuki! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Within the pale darkness of the room, a figure stood in front of one of the shelves, completely engrossed in some ancient-looking tome. It was Shinazaki. The floor around her was piled high with books she'd seemingly read and discarded, strange coming from the bib bibliophile who usually won't even crease the spine. Why does she gotta be the one that gets possessed? Smack her. Smack her. Troglodyte. Can you slap her? Holy water? Oh, ew. この人の中にいる時だけ私たちは痛みから解放されるのノーヨビングウィーグ僕たちにくれそうだふざけんじゃねえぞてめえらせいあのせいはゲットだろうゲットミーアウトアイドンケアバトルバトルバトルバトルバ
For a few long moments, Shinozaki stared into Kishinuma's eyes. Then, in an instant of realization, her face turned beet red. I recall the phrase, oh crap, drifting through my head for a split second, and then... I'm gonna punch her. Oh, you... You... you. Oh my... It's like... That my biggest pet peeve in anime is when, like, someone does something basic like hug... Or like hold your hand and then the anime girl character is like oh my god you're such a pervert you're a weirdo you're disgusting and yet they still end up together at the end of the day and it's like why <laughs> plus doesn't she doesn't she have a thing for mochida too girl i'm gonna punch you i'm only happy because she's happy but I'm not happy. I don't like this heartwarming music playing. You never believe us. Yeah, how did you get in? That's a dumb excuse. Yeah, it's chaos. ちょっと待っているそんざよと。ちょっと待っているそんざよと。ちょっと待っているそんざよと。ちょっと待っているそんざよと。ちょっと待っているそんざよと。ちょっと待っているそんざよと。ちょっと待っているそんざよと。ち